Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another video in our series on virus and malware removal on your computer. So basically now we have another tool that we're talking about which is one of the great tools once again that every tech guy should have if they remove viruses and malware and it's Malwarebytes anti-malware. This is the page I will of course be um, putting the link to this page in the description below the video so you can download it. So basically what you do, you've used RKill to stop the processes, you've used TDSS Killer from Kaspersky to uh, check for some of the hard to find stuff. Now you'll scan with Malwarebytes anti-malware. Free version available for everybody that is a um, you know home user and so you click the download button right here on the right side you go into uh, download free version on the left side here for home and basically what you'll have is a nice piece of software that is called Malwarebytes anti-malware what you do is once you run it make sure that it's updated with its latest database version you can click the update button and once it's updated what you do you click the big scan now button and you start scanning your computer in search of malware so basically it's one of the great pieces of software that anybody should have even um, you know what you should have this on your computer always installed scan your computer maybe once a week with it it is a must have as a piece of software it once again removes malware viruses of all sorts and what's interesting it will also see adware that very often antivirus software doesn't touch once it's scanned your computer you just you know remove everything it finds usually it will require a reboot and um, you know with all three steps the R kill um, the TDSS killer and Malwarebytes, you're slowly getting, you know, at the time where maybe malware will be gone from your computer. Um, I'd say that the first three tools that I've shown, um, Rkill, TDSS Killer, and Malwarebytes, will remove probably 80% of what is available out there has viruses and trojans and stuff, and usually are pretty clean. But, you know, you'll see there's more steps and more things you can do. Some stuff are very, very difficult to remove and I'll show you a little bit of a manual way of removing stuff also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up and hopefully you enjoy this series on virus and malware removal on your PC.